it's time for the final quest. Where is he? There's the man. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. What kind of research? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out of barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. What's the goal? For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. Alright, you don't sound enthusiastic about it. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Isn't that the language Cy Kaiser's Legion speaks? Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Where'd you learn it? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Mmm. Uh, let's talk about something else. Do you need any help? Personally, no. But thanks to you, Julie says we're a lot better off these days. I'll take her word for it, so thanks. Would you willing to come with me? You've helped the followers, so you can't be entirely bad. To be honest, I haven't heard anyone say a negative word about you. As long as you keep working to help people around here get a fair shake, sure, I'll lend a hand. Thank you. All right, let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help, things to learn. Maybe not in that order, but let's get to it. Yay. I'm not exactly a mercenary, but taking out scumbags of this magnitude wouldn't cause me to lose any sleep. Keep it up. What's up? Uh, what's your opinion? Helping the NCR is better than helping Mr. House, but I don't think it's the best solution for the people in New Vegas. If the NCR can take full control of Freeside and the Strip, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Besides, even if New Vegas eventually gets representation in the NCR's Senate, it's not like the NCR runs efficiently. Tell me about yourself. I'm really very boring. You'd get better stories out of a Freeside junkie. I'm asking because I'm interested. Oh, all right. I'm 30-ish. Well, late 30s. I was born west of here. I was an only child and spent most of my time with my mother. My father died when I was young and I never got over it. Oh, and I like medicine and reading books about failed pre-war socioeconomic policies. Right now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why hasn't some lucky man scooped this bachelor off his feet? Like I said, I'm boring. Why'd you like talking about yourself? Some people do. I just don't. Look, I appreciate that you're trying to be friendly, but I'd just rather not discuss it. Well, don't worry. I know ways to make I men talk. Time. First off, we need to head somewhere. So according to this, I need to get the triggers or the uh, like-dislike points. I need to get five like points. Hopefully. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people. Thank you, 14 caps. G generous, really. Hold on. Booyah. Actually, I should probably switch to a more smaller thing. Uh, light and shining darkness. Hell yeah. We've got stuff we're not even allowed. I know, I'm not going to McInrell, so I'm heading to, according to this guide, I am heading to the Silver Rush. Because I need to get him five reputation points. And unfortunately, because I've done, already completed quests, I can't get a lot of them. So, one point for trying to those three locations, and then we gotta go to the fort and talk about Kaiser, even though he's dead. Alright. That's a lot of energy weapons. Brings back some interesting memories. Sure. Energy weapons? Of course not. I mean, but we study all sorts of science and technology, so, you know, we... You just kind of get familiar with them. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough.
Next up, we need to go to the Ripcon headquarters building. Yeah. Now let me talk to him quickly. What's up? Tell me about yourself. Oh, actually, no, I don't need him to talk about himself yet. Let's go into this building and... Oh yeah, he just has a plasma defender. I'm literally shooting a pistol with no sight. Okay, hey, Arcade, just come into this building and you'll be fine. I am so sorry. Hey there. You okay? You need a... What's up? Nothing, hold on. Huh. Maybe I need some glasses that aren't 200 years old. What's up? Opinion. Tell me about yourself. You can do better than that. No, really. Have you ever snorted a ground-up Cazador venom sack? Neither have I. But I can guarantee you that a freeside junkie has. You always deflect. Only to obfuscate my past association with a fascist paramilitary organization. I'm joking, of course. I will deflect personal questions at any opportunity. Honestly, it isn't too difficult if you have half a brain and aren't a complete jerk. I wanted to help people and I enjoyed learning, so I signed up. New Vegas is in trouble, so I came out here. If someone doesn't step up and try to help the people here, it's going to end very badly. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Here we I go. I read about Repcon. I think they did some work with the... <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. What kind of prototypes? Plasma rifles. They were intended to replace the P-94 plasma caster. There was some corporate espionage going on between Poseidon Energy's project Semele and whatever was going on here. How do you know about this? Stop thinking so much. Thanks. <laughs> All right. And now, we have to go down here to the crashed vertibird. This is a little, this was originally, I don't think I've shown this off. This is where I got the prototype Tesla cannon. However, this is also supposed to be a reference to Fallout 2, but uh, didn't make it, so. A vertibird, interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. When was that? Huh, good question. Must have been in a book. Mmm. Now we go to the f the fort. Because what we're he's gonna ask a question saying, "Hey, why are we going to talk to the the dictator?" I need to talk to you about something. If you have a minute, uh, stand back a bit. Any day now. Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. Go on. I wasn't always with the followers or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them, but they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnap people. Eventually, someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. Ooh, I'm sorry. After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. Where'd they go? 
A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. Where are you going with this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things, but there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. You want to help the NCR? That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Say no more. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. I don't think I could convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. Sure. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. No worries. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? I'd like to assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity, but I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Just let's let's just listen to him, figure out what he's up to, get out. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing you could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. Sure thing. Now let's go. For odd saying Lin. For odd laying sign. We got some traveling to do. What the? Physician. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are there legion here? There's more. You okay, uh, Ganon? In my medical opinion, that could have gone. Yes, way better. Let's head back to Novak. Okay, so that didn't work. I didn't realize they were Legion. Hmm. I forgot all kinds of people respawn. Right. Anyway, we need to talk to you up here. We're hey old lady, we're getting the band back together. Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Arcade asks me to help you. Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebird. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. Cool. Watch your six out there. All right, that's one down. Next one, Cannibal Johnson. I've already traveled through this place while searching out for skill books. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. It's part of... It was an important part of her life. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something... Admittedly, pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate... I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. True, true. Time for Cannibal Johnson, who isn't in fact a cannibal. 
he just made up the story that he was a cannibal, if I remember correctly. Well, it's about damn time. What took you? Oh. Oh? I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Enclave said we're getting the band back together. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? He, we're getting to resolve conflict. Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? I mean, you're all. If old, I had to so. pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. Why worry about it? I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life, but you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dad. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. Cool. Anyway, let's continue on. Next locale. By the sharecropper farms. Yeah, sharecropper farms. She, he's gonna be in a house. Yeah, we're getting we're getting the gang together. Because after this, I get some sweet power armor. So where do I gotta go? This way. Do 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 do. -do. I got a pistol. However, I think for the ending, it should be appropriate that I bring a big iron on my hip. You know, because, uh, how do I get past this fence over here? In this house. But yeah, you can do any of the things I've done in my playthrough just whenever you want. I just sort of do it this way because it just feels right. Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. We're getting the band together. In a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Want to get the band back together. Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? I haven't decided. You haven't decided. Well, this is just getting better every second, isn't it? Do you have a preference? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. That's what I was thinking. All right, then. I'll show up at this gathering of yours. It might be good to see the others. Johnson excluded. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. Alrighty then. <laughs> What's up? I'm just gonna step out here and Arcade should say something. Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. Don't be hard, I'm in. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. Yeah. Exactly, just think of the good. Miguel's Pawn Shop.
Nice. Also, off screen, I discovered every location in Vegas. You don't strike me as someone. I forgot to mention that. Luck. What brings you to West Side? We're striking the band. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Because you're cool. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Alrighty, thank you. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Well, they're loyal to you too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure you will. But yes, on this map, I have found every location in the main game of New Vegas, except for two places, the Long 15 and Drywells. That's because at the end of Lonesome Road, there's a choice you can make which unlocks those two hour areas. However, if you do that, you get negative karma for both the NCR and the Legion. Plus, they're not necessary. So, I don't count it. Hello, Marcus. Oop. Back to Jacob's Town. Hello, Lily. I hope you're doing good. Yep, time for us to f get at it. Bother someone else. I, don't want I know, I know. Hello. Is there something else I can do for you? We're getting the band together. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the passphrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Thank you. Yes, yes. Morning. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Well, his work is what matter to him. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. See, that's already a good thing to think about. But now let's head to the Remnant Bunker, which is very close by, actually. Just up the hill. And I discovered this after climbing the back way out of uh, uh, the Great Con Red Rock Canyon. So, <laughs> man, so many people may play this game without even realizing this is here. You know, if you're not paying attention to the compass, to the map markers. And as we enter the phrase, dear old friends, remember Navarro. Now, they will either help the Legion or the NCR. And look at that. Suits of power armor. So let's have a talk. That tower on the strip popped open. 
Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Uh, I want you to help the NCR. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. I'll talk. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. But like a can, and let somebody walk right in. Or... Moreno's gonna run out, and... I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. The remnants come in, guns blading, show the NCR how it's done. You don't want that? I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. There we go. Thanks for go. doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. You've certainly done your part. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. Now, here's the thing. If I send him back to Freeside, he's going to give me his power armor. But if I tell him to fight, he's going to give me a spare suit of power armor. He should fight. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. No worries. And if we go in here... Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, She's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. I'll talk. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. No worries. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. And since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. Let's go. Actually, I don't need to because I already have it. They will now plan for the upcoming battle. For Oddling Sign. For Oddling Sign. And for that, I get Remnant Power Armor. Look at that. The difference between this power armor and uh, Arcade's power armor is that his is shiny and it looks like a goddamn glitter bomb went off on his suit. So. Like I said, I needed to go do something. Yeah, see? This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hooper Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. Of course. Yeah, that's his suit. It's flashy, but it doesn't have as much protection. And it's heavy. But I mean, hey. It's nice. So with that being done, thank you all for watching. Next time... Well, first I need to head back to Novak, get some weapons, get some armor, make some preparations, because... Once I head, uh, once I head out to the Lonesome Road, that's about it. Once that's done, we finish the game, basically. So, until then, remember to have yourselves a good, good day today, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye